Hello fellow star citizens and welcome to Star Burgers. My name is Reftorman, Reftor for short, and I'm from the Netherlands. Not Holland, mind you, really the Netherlands. I've been making content for about three months. I started in February 2017 uh, with some light content and reviews for virtual reality. And now I wanted to do something for Star Citizen. Why? Because I love the game. I'm a long time backer. I'm back since uh, October 2014. I made some content without uh, speaking and uh, people were saying well you suck you should speak and you're stealing stuff and everything well here I am I'm, I'm talking I'm, I'm talking to you guys I want to do stuff I want to make stuff I want to meet guys I'm going to uh, Gamescon uh, this year and so um, I'm gonna do this more often and because I like to do it so first of all what's Starburger well I'm Dutch but you can hear so I suck at accents and stuff so but I'm Dutch and um, the Dutch name for citizen is burger and um, well star is star and I was like well we got the uh, big bennies why not make a star burger so that's why I called my show star burgers so what can you expect from me <laughs> well basically getting better at this because right now uh, this is all new for me and I as maybe I suck but uh, again I love doing it what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start to do is uh, dig into old archives of ATV. Maybe even back to Wingman's Hangar. Pull out stuff and give you my opinion about it. So be warned. And of course if CIG is doing something awesome as usual, I will report on that too. Maybe I'll even do a Gamescon uh, item. Film stuff or do some interviews with CIG members or maybe community members. So without further ado, I'm uh, going to do my first item. And surprise surprise is about the ship. Uh, it's about the workhorse of the UEE Navy or any fleet for that matter. It's about the Argo. And here they are, the two Argo variants. Or for full, the Argo Astronautics MPU V1P and the 1C. Or better known as the Argo Personnel Carrier and the Argo Cargo Carrier. So let's start with the personnel carrier. It's 9.25 meters long. The height is 4.25 meters. Uh, it's about six metric ton, uh, 6,000 kilogram. And it's got one crew and you can fit eight people in the back. It's got four main engines, 18 thrusters, and it's got one power plant and one shield generator. It's got no jump capability, so it's mainly used for getting stuff or people from a larger ship to a space station or planet site. In ATV where it was introduced there was also talk about a big arm on the front of the Argo so you can grab stuff like uh, cargo or maybe an escape pod and get back to the big ship. So uh, the Argo itself is primarily, uh, primarily a capital ship support vehicle. So um, what it does is you'll have the Idris fly into a, uh, into a location but it might not be able to go through an asteroid field or something like that and the Argo can then fly in, it can pick up any survivors in one of its pods, or it can um, be fitted with a cargo pod with, with, like, um, with repair gear in the back of it. And with that repair gear, uh, if the ship gets damaged, it can send out a crew of engineers, they can fly around to the damaged part of the ship, and they can then start fixing it back up. It's also going to be having, the Argo doesn't currently have this, it's still a work in progress, but it's going to have a mechanical arm that also will be able to repair um, parts of the ship. But as I say, that's currently a work in progress. Unfortunately, you won't be going out in the live version of the ship. Before we start, I want to show you guys something fun. It says here, Argo Astronautics. So it's th that's the manufacturer. But what do we have here? Well, it's the pod is an escape pod of the Javelin. Uh, well, let me just show you guys what I mean. looks familiar doesn't it well the pot is more yellow and or orange and black right now um, instead of the gray and if we open her up you can see there we go interior 
that it's more lighter inside there are more uh, lights on the floor let's go in in there there we go and there are still eight seats and if we close and close the door then there we go close the exterior and let's try to sit in a seat and see how it uh, how it works out and their seat and if you take a look around you'll see uh, the usual attention to detail the well i think those are seat belts or seat yeah belts and the fire extinguisher and if you well long press f you can go get out again and there we go and let's crouch and well if you take a look at the door the attention to detail the locks the arms that put the door in in place it's it's awesome but that's cig for you that's star citizen for you let's get out of here and uh, circle back to the front to the uh, operator seat but not before we take a look at the levers on the side of the pot on the back side of the pot there we go we have one and now the other side we have another one uh, i'll show you there we go and i think those are the manual release um well levers for the legs of the escape pod there we have it well it makes sense that those are and if we go to the front there are no uh levers on the front of the pod so i think the one lever uh, on the left will lower the one the, the legs on the left and so on for the other side too and here we have the um, cockpit or the operator seat nice emblem argo astronautics well let's get in there open up the cockpit get in there and as you can see it's no fancy cockpit with everything on it because well it's a work cockpit um, there's an overhead panel and imagine uh, with item 2.0 you can switch all those switches on and off and maybe there's an extra mfd or camera for that big arm that cig promised us not much else to see in the in here so let's get out and see how the exit animation works there we go one foot out could use some work but hey it's still alpha so there you have it the argo mpuv the passenger one and uh, now let's take a look at the cargo version and there it is the argo cargo it's got a fancy button on the side to open the back door let's press that one there we go open exterior it's got it's got three doors in total one in the back one on either side the round ones and it's got one operator seat in the back and it got two cargo unit uh, capacity in the pod um, the Argo itself is the same Argo as the Argo uh, passenger transport uh, it's uh, also got the same stats uh, it's also 6,000 uh, uh, kilogram or 6 metric ton and um, well four and a half meters uh, tall you can see opening the side doors right now and it's the same Argo that's been used in the, uh, the Moro tour where you came out as a player and greeted by Moro. Okay, so it's basically the same Argo and uh, you can, well, they say you can switch out the pods uh, later on. Uh, that mechanic is in. CIG is also developing or has developed a search and rescue pod that's coming out. And basically you can just own one Argo with different pods and switch them out. Well, take a look at the back. Um, there's the, the seat. Let's crouch, get in there. And if you look up, there's a or a docking ring or a coupler for the Argo. I haven't figured that on that one out yet. So, um, well, let's close the door if we if I can manage it. Hold on, not oh, not pressing the button right now. Let's see if I can get it right. Oh, oh, there we go. Hold on, let's get back. It's a little bit buggy, but still, it's enough. Ah, there we go. Okay, a little less fancier than the. Uh, than the passenger uh, pod but hey it's a cargo pod if we take a look around we'll see the uh, usual eye for detail the cargo nets the uh, the wires running everywhere because well it's it's still an industrial workhorse and not a fancy uh, fancy ship well let's get out of here um and close the door thank you very much guys for watching this video if you have any questions about the argo or star citizen 
drop them in the comments i will try to answer them the best to my abilities um also if you like my videos um uh, like and subscribe um it really helps me and i'll see you guys next time bye bye